we had some extremely exciting discoveries uh, just last week. Uh, so we had taken uh, a group of our test arc crystals uh, to an independent lab uh, and we were able to, uh, with them, uh, perform measurements of photon emission from the arc crystals. So uh, this is something rather unusual to look at for a passive device, because uh, or a passive object, right? It's, it's a crystal. Um, you wouldn't really expect it to be emitting photons unless it was absorbing energy from somewhere. So this is a walk-in Faraday cage. It's a completely EM shielded environment. Uh, so all ambient electromagnetism uh, is blocked within this chamber. And within the chamber, uh, there's a photo uh, detector. So the arc crystal has three axes, as does everything in a three-dimensional reality. Now, because it's a crystal, each of the axes have different properties because of uh, the, the breaking of uh, spatial symmetry by the uh, crystalline lattice. Uh, so in one orientation, you have the z-axis pictured on the right. Uh, that is the optical axis. Uh, it polarizes light. It's also birefringent for both light and sound. However, at a 90 degree angle to that, there's the x-axis, and that's depicted by the left-hand image here. Now, this axis is called also the electromechanical axis, or the electrical axis, and that's piezoelectric. So if there's compression, that is uh, mechanical energy, along the x-axis, it will generate an electrical current. And conversely, if there's an electrical current, it'll cause acoustic oscillations of the crystal so we tested different orientations, and what we found was that there was a significant increase in the number of photons being emitted from the vertices, the points of the tetrahedron. There is a astoundingly high amount of photon emission occurring from these points. At least from a conventional perspective, there's an unexplained emission of energy from the crystals that is continuous.